Thousands of people in hundreds of cities around the world have been venting their fury against what they say is the greed of the big banks and the debt management inflicted by their governments. Inspired by the Occupy Wall Street movement in Manhattan, protests took hold in Europe, Asia, and around the U.S., some turning violent. In New York, there were dozens of arrests as police moved to contain the rally. RT's Lucy Kavanov has more from Times Square. I'm here in Times Square in New York City where this was the scene of a massive standoff by the Occupy Wall Street protesters who were here on a peaceful demonstration trying to take their message nationwide as other cities have joined up in the protests. Now what we saw here over the past few hours was a massive standoff between the police and the protesters. We saw all kinds of police officers out here, riot police, police on Calvary. Uh, we saw in fact New York City police counterterrorism unit officers which was very confusing for the crowd. Again, this was a peaceful demonstration. Several thousand protesters had marched here. Uh, when we came here down to uh, 46th Street, we were essentially blocked off by the NYPD, corralled in an area, and we weren't able to move for several hours. I saw several protesters arrested uh, reportedly by the police uh, department. There was approximately 70 arrests this evening. Three of them I witnessed right here on 47th, uh, 46th and 7th. Uh, two protesters were sitting down peacefully. The police had uh, handcuffed them, slammed them to the ground, uh, slammed their faces in the ground. They were uh, not moving, not really resisting arrest, so it was confusing why the, the actions were so severe, so tough. Uh, the, the standoff between protesters and police got extremely tense when the police officers doubled up the barricades. We were prevented from moving left or right. We couldn't go up or down. We couldn't meet up with the bigger march, which was actually taking place on 42nd Street. Now, uh, things have calmed down. There were several arrests, as I said earlier. It's very unclear what will develop from now, but the police, uh, again, extremely tense, extremely uh, aggressive with the protesters. At one point, we saw a group of protesters reciting the First Amendment to the police, and still, still we were told to get out of here, even even though there was no place to actually go. Things have calmed down now, but we will be on the ground reporting for RT from Times Square. This is Lucy Kafanov.